Thank you for tuning in to Macro View Television, and this is the Taiwan Outlook. I'm your host, Wu Reiguo. I remember back in the year 2000, the cable news network had identified Taiwan Strait, the Korean Peninsula, and Pakistan and India, the India Peninsula area, as the three hot spots around the world. But with improved relations between China and Taiwan, Taiwan Strait is no longer considered a hot spot around the world. What then are some of the other troubled regions in the world? On that subject, we're delighted to continue our program today with a very special guest and very good friend of mine, Professor Wang Gaochen, who's professor and director of the Graduate Institute of Strategic Studies at the Danjiang University. Gaochen, welcome to the program. Yeah, thank you, Raymond. I'm glad to be here. Okay. We're going to start off the program, Gaochen, mm -hmm. by concentrating on the Middle East, uh, specifically in Iran. We understand that a few weeks ago it had the presidential election, but the situation in Iran has really deteriorated very fast. Now it's erupted into violence. Uh, the current president, claiming that he had a two-to-one majority in the election, continued to claim that he's the victor of the election. But the opposition, the challenger, you know, Mr. Uh, uh, let me see, Mr. Musavi, you know, who's claiming that the election was rigged. And we understand the reaction around the world of you know very different. The Europeans and also the Americans have come you know conveyed their concern about you know a, a further investigation into how the election was conducted. What do you think the situation in Iran would develop in the coming weeks ahead? I think it's this is an amazing uh, situation there. Yes. But what uh, from our uh, impression that Iran is the uh, fully controlled by by the ruling parties, mm. but uh, uh, so far we have seen a, 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 a very uh, violent contest between the two uh, uh, campaign camps, mm -hmm. and the election result is the, not accepted by the losing side. Mm -hmm. And they have aroused a large protest in yes. Iran. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it was reported that the, the millions of people to go uh, went on the street to mm -hmm. protest against the, the election. So um, so far, we have seen some the um, bloody conflict, um, and the the, uh, the the losing side leader Musavi, uh, as far as I know, down has already. Um, Ask for his uh, support to be calmed, mm -hmm. but continue to uh, put pressure on the um, government. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the Iran's the highest uh, leader uh, group may be decided to uh, evaluate the situation, uh, the electoral result, uh, to see what uh, uh, where the the final result is the, can be officially accepted. Mm -hmm. So I think the, the situation is still remain tense there. Yeah, yeah, and it's still very much unsettled. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We understand that since President uh, Barack Obama took over the office almost six months ago now, that, that uh, he has wanted to push ahead with a new policy towards mm -hmm. the Middle East. Yeah. Of course, Iran being a very important part yeah. of that new policy. What do you think the new security policy under President Obama will react to the situation that's developing in Iran? Yeah, we have seen that Obama already uh, have some talk on this situation. Mm -hmm. uh, he expressed his concern about the new development. Um, uh, and he said that the uh, uh, United States seems to uh, very much to look upon the um, democracy, uh, the freedom of speech, mm -hmm. uh, the, the freedom of uh, election, fair mm -hmm. elections. To, so they are continuing to watch out those situations. To, uh, and uh, he, so far he just expressed his hope that uh, uh, this election can be fair mm -hmm. and it can be um, uh, officially uh, to be examined uh, whether it's the fair uh, or not. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but uh, at the other time, I, I observed that Obama also be very cautious. Uh, he, he doesn't want to be very clear to say what is the uh, real result of this election. He just wants to uh, impress that uh, need to be uh, fair mm -hmm. uh, and to be uh, conducted by um, uh, 
official authority uh, mm -hmm. to prove that it has been done that uh, uh, without against most people's the will. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but uh, I think he still remains very uh, cautious not to be obviously to say whether it's a, 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 a true or not true uh, elections. Uh, I think he also is worried that if he show his opinions the, too fast, too early, uh, too early, too early. Uh, and if that uh, the ruling party finally uh, proved to be uh, can be able to control all the situations, the, mm -hmm. and he will lose another opportunity to improve relation with the uh, second term, the uh, mm -hmm. Nate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And uh, let me ask you then, mm -hmm. under the circumstances, you know, especially with a uh, new U.S. security policy towards the Middle East, you know, who would have thought that, you know, under the heavy Muslim you know, uh, ideology in the Middle East, that democracy is at all possible. What do you think the role of the religion will play in terms of democratic development, especially in Iran and also in the Middle East at large? Uh, you mean Iran's the democracy? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, Iran's democracy is a good beginning, at least mm -hmm. uh, that shows that not every people uh, agree with the current uh, uh, government, uh, government uh, mm -hmm. and uh, is uh, more like uh, a little bit uh, extremist, uh, mm -hmm. uh, mostly in policies, uh, um, and uh, uh, also insists on developing nuclear uh, uh, facilities, capabilities, uh, capabilities yes. uh, mm -hmm. and uh, cre continue to create tensions with the other uh, Middle East country, mm -hmm. especially with the Western countries. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that. Uh, if this situation, if cannot be handled uh, safely, mm -hmm. it might turn out to be another uh, uh, turmoil mm -hmm. in Iran. And mm -hmm. since Iran is a big country in, in the Middle East, uh, that will create another, um, um, I think, a turmoil situation in the Middle East. Yeah, yeah. and also around the world in terms of Iran being a, you know, a very important oil exporting country. Yes. You know, right. This could cause serious adverse impact right. on the world economy. Yeah, right. Uh, mm. But on the other hand, if the Ahmadinejad can yes. continue to uh, proclaim his the victories mm -hmm. and uh, the uh, losing side finally decide to accept that the situation, mm -hmm. um, well, at least I think uh, that will also put pressure on the uh, current government mm -hmm. not to uh, uh, take uh, 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 more, uh, 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 more strong policy like uh, it took before uh, mm -hmm. to deal with the outside world, uh, mm -hmm. um, also okay. including the United States. Mm -hmm. yeah. We understand that if we shift the you know, focus in the Middle East a little over mm -hmm. you know, onto Israel yeah. and Palestine, yeah. we understand the very recent statement by Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu, who says that he will support uh, under certain you know, qualifications yeah. of Palestinian state yeah. in the Middle East. Yeah. How would you think such a breakthrough, if it's carried out, if it's you know, sincere, how would that change the landscape in the Middle East? Of course, if his proposal can be uh, implemented, mm -hmm. I think certainly we created a peace the, in the Middle East. A more lasting uh, yeah, peace. Yeah, right, because mm -hmm. we know that the the core part of the, the conflict of the Middle East is coming from the conflict between uh, Israel and the Palestine. Yeah. Uh, um, but so if the, the Israeli uh, government can accept uh, uh, the um, uh, statehood of uh, Palestine, mm -hmm. of course the, he also uh, raises some uh, precondition of that the, the new Palestinian country cannot have uh, defense capabilities and to uh, also admit uh, the uh, survival capability mm -hmm. uh, of uh, Israel. Mm -hmm. uh, um, so that's a problem. Uh, yeah. The Palestinian people may not necessarily accept that. Yeah. Uh, but if it can be uh, implemented, I think the certainly that would be a breakthrough mm -hmm. and create, uh, create a more lasting peace in the Middle East. Yes, yeah. and also I believe this new proposal from Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu will be welcome in Washington. Yeah. Uh, how would you think that U.S. policy towards Israel, uh, towards Palestine, you know, would change according to the new development? I think the Obama administration uh, has uh, shown a more balanced uh, policy mm -hmm. towards these uh, two uh, political uh, communities. Uh, of course, uh, as the uh, U.S. president, uh, certainly it will support. Uh, he will support 
这个 Israel's survivors' rights. Yes. But on the other hand, Obama seems to be more sympathetic to the Palestinian situation. He also demands that Israel should also recognize the rights of Palestinian peoples. And uh, and especially, will, I think he will also uh, like to see that Israel can uh, support that the Palestinian people mm -hmm. uh, to create a new state mm -hmm. uh, for themselves. So uh, Netanyahu's the policy, I think, uh, a certain kind uh, is the accommodation to the Obama's expectation. Yes. Uh, and I should be welcomed by the new administration. Yes. Yeah. And for the remainder of this segment. Uh, culture, we understand that domestically in the U.S., the Jewish lobby is a very strong presence yeah. in the electoral politics right. of America. Uh, under the cer you know, circumstances and the new developments that we just discussed, how would you think that will impact Obama's domestic standing if the policy you know, towards you know, Israel and Palestine you know, didn't really work out as planned? Um, if it doesn't work as a trend, I think Jewish people will continue to, to press the, the Obama administration to support the Israelis' the stance. The, yeah, from uh, defense all the way to you know, uh, the stance towards uh, Palestine. Yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah. good. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back to the Taiwan Outlook, where we'll continue this conversation with Professor Wang Gaochen, Director of the Graduate Institute of Strategic Studies at Danjiang University. We'll be back in three minutes. Thank you.